What's up guys, welcome back. I know it's gonna be a little bit different today, but I mean, we're still talking buying tickets, selling tickets, make sure you're having fun with those tickets. You know that third one that we don't really talk about? Well, today's the day. We're gonna have lots of fun at the Jays home opener. July 30th, Friday, Toronto's coming back, first game in 500, 600 days, whatever the thing is. We're gonna be there, it's gonna be amazing. Just gotta get ourselves ready. So first off, a couple small things. We need to, uh, Get some clothing on. So let's uh, let 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 let's, let's let's make that happen, shall we? Excellent. Don't mind it. Don't think I've opened these buttons in many a day. Hopefully, it still fits. I mean, I haven't gained that much weight, have I? It's only been you know a year and a half since being in the gym. Eh, it'll be fine. Looking pretty snazzy, if I do say so myself. Now, only thing missing is a hat. I think we have a few options here. Which one are you guys thinking? Uh, it's okay today. Good choice. We gotta fix Vladdy over here. He is, um, Vladdy hit a home run yesterday, so we gotta, gotta fix that. All right, so a couple things. One, going to the game right now, should be there in about an hour, should have about 10 to 20 minutes before the game starts. Maybe we can kind of see some scalpers out there, see what the atmosphere is like, get all that good stuff. Number two, I want to talk dollars and cents after this game. I bought a bunch of tickets for this game, I sold a bunch of tickets for this game, and I'm going to this game. So there is a lot of financials going on here. We're gonna talk all about that at the end, give you guys a big summary, see if I actually was able to make or lose money going to this game. Subway is that away guys so we gotta start walking bone charades here now all right so i forgot one little thing i got a little surprise for well i i gotta go all out for this home opener so i bought myself a little something something i think you'll enjoy again ignore him don't look at him. this box Surprise is brand new Nike shoes for the occasion. I bought myself, I mean, I kind of splurged a little bit. I bought myself some Ken Griffey Air Maxes, nice baby blue, just to, you know, match along. Let's throw these puppies on and let's get out of here. Now we're going for real, real. Okay, let's go. 536. Uh, you might, we should make it. We'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Heat check, guys. What do you guys think? Yeah. Look at this. I even have a, a Jay's mask. Life is amazing. Because there's only 15,000 people, it really is, uh, it doesn't quite feel the same thing as a real home opener. But I mean, it'll do. You agree? Yeah. yeah. updates for you guys. One, home opener. Not quite what I was hoping for it to be. I mean, atmosphere is not quite there. Being here though, still awesome. Still super awesome. Love them. Uh, other cool things mentioned. They have a bunch of the, I'll show you again. They have a bunch of the fan cutouts here as well. I could, I mean, obviously they're up in the 500 level, so you can't quite see them, but they are there. There's two options of seating. So I'm sitting non-socially distanced, so I can be like in the action. 
Uh, and then they also have the social distance seating, which is kind of like all in the outfield and a few of the lower bowl seating sections. So, I mean, there are definitely a lot of options there. It's pretty good. Um, and then, I don't know, I was kind of hoping for like a bit more like electricity, almost. like more and more of that, but I can't complain. I'm at baseball, I've been in a baseball game in like two and a half years, so no complaints here. Just, you know, minor criticisms, no complaints. Time for popcorn, more baseball, and then we discuss all things tickets at the end. Let's go. That was awesome. So many home runs. So much fun. All right, heading home, and then we will discuss all things tickets because there was some serious money that was made today. No more masky mask. Give me two minutes, and then we start talking tickets. And that, my friends, is a home opener in Toronto. Well, home opener. This COVID version of a home opener is that it, it's really not the same thing. I've officially never been to a real opening day game before, so I was kind of hoping or had that expectation of that's what it would be like. Uh, obviously, this game, only 15,000 people. Technically, there's only like 13,000 announced at the gate, but yeah, like they had the social distancing sections, they had the main sections which were, you know, full capacity in, in those small areas. But really, it's equivalent to just going to some random midweek game in the middle of summer. So, I mean, it was fun. Don't get me wrong. It was fun. They won. I saw some home runs. That's all the good things you need. But the atmosphere was just lacking. And I was expecting a bit more, unfortunately. But with 15,000 people, you, you will never be able to match what I thought it could have been. With that being said, again, I did have a lot of fun. It was a great time. Jays did win, so that's always a bonus. But now let's get into the really fun stuff. Let's get into nitty gritty details. Let's talk numbers. Let's talk about how much money was actually made today going to this home opener. So for this game, I sold $2,757.29 worth of tickets. Decent number, I can't complain. It was interesting though, a lot of sales that happened once, you know, the initial announcement was made, they were definitely higher. As we got closer to the game, prices came down quite a bit. So total around $2,700. Of that though, to buy those tickets, I actually spent $1,465.50. So, you know, looking at pretty good margins here. On top of that, with selling, I did have to pay some fees and commissions, so about $102.97 on there. And then lastly, I also paid my own way in terms of tickets to actually get to the event, and that was another $192, really, to be a bit more exact. Doing all the math, thinking, taking it all through, we made a profit of just under $1,000, $996.82. So not too shabby, not too bad for a day's work. What, what can I say? No complaints whatsoever. In total, I had 24 tickets, 22 of them were actually sold, and then two I kept for myself. If you take the average between all the tickets, averages out to about $45.31 profit per ticket. So. Not too shabby whatsoever. Again, this all ties back into the video I made the other day talking about season seats and how you can potentially make quite a bit of money from it. I did want to highlight like these are the, the good times. Obviously opening day, weekend games versus the Yankees, Red Sox, you know, Dodgers, Cubs, those kind of games. Those are always going to draw big crowds. You're going to be able to get a good resale markup on them but it doesn't really drive home the fact that there are many games in a season and oftentimes, I would say almost the majority of times, you're not gonna be able to recoup your money back on those games. What am I trying to say? I'm saying that actually buying season seats as a whole, just, just looking at the regular season as is, is generally a losing proposition. Now you may say, hey, sure ass. That doesn't make sense. You just told me you made $1,000 today and you went to the game. Yes, that's true. However, again, 
That's just one game. There's still a multitude of games remaining in the season and the resale prices on those depending on how the record is and who they're playing and what day of the game is and what sky color is out there and what did Mars and Jupiter do when they aligned. Basically, there's so many other games and there's still so much more to go. It's likely there'll be quite a few losses for the remainder of the season. And because of that, this thousand dollar profit will be ground down as we move towards the end of the actual season itself. Obviously this year will be a bit different because of COVID and the amount of games remaining and just the number of people who are allowed in the building, all that kind of thing. I can't normalize this season. It's just not possible and it's not fair to myself or to you to say, hey, you know, if you buy tickets to Toronto Blue Jays, you're gonna make a ton of money. No, it doesn't, it, it doesn't work that way. I can't say one way or the other that this season is gonna be profitable or not. But all I'm trying to say is that season seats are very, very fickle. It really depends on the location, the price of your tickets, how many tickets you have, when you get them sold, when you get them listed, who's buying them, where are you selling them. There's a lot of factors that go into it. And so that's gonna be in the next video coming up, talking about all the major pitfalls and ways you can actually lose quite a bit of money or even all your money trying to resell season seats. So with that being said, make sure you guys do subscribe down below because I want to make sure you guys don't miss out on this very valuable information. Also, be sure to like this video if you haven't already. Great new content coming out every single week. And see you guys next time.